didn't really finish off my vlog yesterday because I was just too damn tired. I think we had trouble getting in the car. It took an hour and a half plus to get through customs. So I didn't finish that off, but now we're having breakfast in NC with TLG. <laughs> <laughs> and Nikki as well is here. Cooked us great breakfast. So I will film a lot more today. I'm um, going to get sick to death in my vlogs. But hopefully you enjoy it as much as I enjoy this breakfast. Catch you soon. <laughs> Crazy pup. <laughs> I'll put her, you're right. Here, I'll give it to you. <laughs> now I get to walk around Tony Lee Glen's garden. <laughs> it's Seen an awesome it. time of the year to be here. <laughs> Seen plenty of it on YouTube, but now we get to walk around it too. <laughs> So what do you think, Rich? I mean, it's uh, it's kind of yeah, it's lovely, isn't it? The weather's nice. great. The garden looks great. It's probably 60 degrees right now. Well, maybe a little warmer than that. All right, so that's the front door, isn't it? Yeah, just come out the garage. Came in last night. This when I bought the house was nothing but grass. It was, every bit of it was just like that there. And so the whole first summer that we lived here, I just. I just mowed grass all the time. I had a push mower. I had no, uh, I, I, and you know, so we, we, we sort of started thinking about, oh, you know, we'd like to, I wonder if anything would grow here. So the first year was, was just experiment to see if anything would grow in the soil. I found out the peppers would grow really well. And I knew that I'd always wanted to grow asparagus. And some of my friends had said, well, asparagus will grow. So check it out. Dude. Wow. There's some growing over there. Okay. You're open-minded, right? <laughs> you've eaten asparagus your yeah, whole yeah, life, right? Yeah. But you've eaten it always cooked, right? Yeah. All, I just want you to try this. Be open-minded. I'm not forcing you, <laughs> but it's, it's it's all perfectly awesomely clean. I want you I want you to see if, if this doesn't delight you and and and, and impress, just just eat it, just take it, just just, just take take it in and eat it, and tell me what you think. Is it not pretty darn mm. great? <laughs> Now I'm not forcing you to like it. Be honest, it's, it's nutty, kind of nutty, isn't it? Kind of sweet in a little bit mm. way. It tastes better than when it's cooked. It tastes better than when it's cooked. So we come out here and we eat the raw asparagus. We most of the time we just we just get it and put it in salads or uh, yeah, just you can, eat, you can eat the whole stalk. It, it'll grow up to it's usually tender to about 16, 18 inches. So you can eat a whole lot of asparagus off of it. And so mm. you see those are all coming up there, nice. Mm. I'll turn the camera back over to Rich. <laughs> So yeah, we just, over the course of four years, we put more and more and more of it, and it's a massive amount of work because, as you can see, no truck can deliver gravel or anything beyond these bushes. Mm. So everything, I have everything brought and piled up there right in that corner beyond those little bushes and have to wheelbarrow it all up the hill, a wheelbarrow at a time. So imagine, I don't know how much, what did we get, Nikki? Uh, 12 tons of rock that I actually wheelbarrowed up this hill to get this. When it be easier just to move the trees? <laughs> yeah, but, you know, but we, like, we like the trees because it gives us that privacy. Mm. We don't want people looking into our backyards so we mm. left them alone. And yeah, it would have been easier, but honestly, it was good for me. That, was all, that looked like a big uh, yeah, like, a magpie, yeah, wasn't it? it? Yeah. I've not seen it's a magpie here before. No, yeah. it, was, uh, uh, it was white and black. Oh, I call them catbirds. Yeah, cat it's really bird, noisy magpie. in the morning. Now, I, I think the first year we moved over here, we put that rock one in. But it was all just still grass. Mm. We put the rock raised bed in, and then I put these blueberry bushes in. They were they were this high when I put them in, but they had blueberries the first year. So this year, uh, it, it's too bad you're not going to be here in June and July. The blueberries will start coming. Usually, you end of May some of the bushes, and I put the uh, <laughs> the yeah, hammock. I put the hammock out here. The hammock's a bit worn. I was going to buy a new hammock, but try it out here. Let me hold the. Thing. <laughs> oh no! Yeah, man, it's like lay down in it and just chill out for a minute. It's the best. <laughs> Is there a technique? Yeah, it is. Just kind of do what you're doing and lay back and get yourself balanced. Uh -huh. And now, now I'm going to get you going a little bit. I won't turn you over. <laughs> okay, now he's, he gets seasick. He's going to be careful not too much. <laughs> it's really awesome at night when you get good and still and you got your binoculars and you can see the uh, planets and things you look up. So that's, that's why I put that there. Oh man! Yeah, <laughs> I need to. I, I'm realizing it's hanging a little low. I need to uh, tighten it up a little. That's because I'm in it. I'm in it. We 
about the park benches you saw that about maybe four or five weeks ago just uh thinking it'd be nice to have to sit around out here because otherwise we just bring out little fold out chairs <laughs> i will i'll hush it is kind of nice it goes down to kind of where that ugly tree that's sticking up is and then the whole acre below us is the acre we bought nikki's uh, is that your bees? Bees are, set, bees are sitting on the, uh, kind of on the border here. A little nasty there. Yes, I do empty the uh, canister for the vacuum sometimes there. <laughs> but you know, the reason I do that is the birds like to gather that stuff and make nests yeah. out of it. So I put it there for the birds. Yeah, in and out. Yeah. They're trying to find flowers now. Should be bringing some sugar water down because it's still just not quite enough enough uh, sap for them to be living off of. We, we, we didn't even rob them last year. We only have enough honey. They could live. This is kind of kind of messy down here. I need to yank it all out. I don't know what to do with it really. All these little trees and stuff here were planted by the previous owner. They were small when we came there, about this big. And the reason he wanted them. He's afraid the old lady would sell to somebody else and he wanted a barrier between his property. Then I ended up buying the land, so now I should actually. They're little in cypress, they're expensive trees, but I can't move them too big. Mm -hmm. If we were to dig around in here, we would certainly find a black bear. Yeah, don't do that. that. They're in there. <laughs> yeah, that, that they find out you moved your trees. Tim and I started cutting down trees so you can see Charlotte. And it's a little too hazy, but on a, on a, we'll have some clear days where we can just right through that notch there. You'll see uh, the, the mm, towers. I can see the. That. I can see them from here actually. Can you? Okay, my, my eyes are. Yeah. Not, I have my glasses on. You bet. Got just about to see the gray, the gray buildings on the point. And so the land here goes down actually to about 15 feet beyond those trees that are sticking up down there. Yeah. We just didn't want them to fall on the other property. And so then it goes back almost. To about 30 feet in the sky. So I own all this right over here too. If I cut it all out, we'd be able to see the South Mountains really nice over there. So maybe at some point I'll get rid of it. Maybe we'll cut some trees down while you're here. I see a buzzard up there. Do you? Yeah. I didn't put my glasses on if I can see. Oh, there's the buzzards flying. Yeah, you can just see him up there. He's just flying around uh -huh. through the trees. And once in a while, usually it's summer, but you, you, usually we do have some eagles that come through and they look totally different than the buzzards. They're massive, but their wing structure is different. It looks like a dang aircraft coming over when they, the shadow yeah. <laughs> will be out sometimes and you look up and this, wow, well, there it is. And it looks like a golden eagle. Maybe it's a bald eagle. It's hard to see. Their, their heads usually look brown though. You can have a fire. Yeah. We, yeah. We have to, we all can only burn when they allow us to burn. Right. So it's And like when a, do they give you certain times then that you're allowed they to They send text messages to you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> so get text messages. These folks are the Brecken Ridges, so they're really nice neighbors. So they're gone a lot though. Mm. This is where Nikki, Nikki, uh, all this was a, you see how we got a some beautiful butterflies, butterfly, man. yeah. Yeah, it's a fir, I mean, that's the first butterfly I've seen this year. I'll be darned. The yellow. So they're just now starting to come. Yeah. Need a camera. <laughs> all the tail, is that what it is? I don't know. I have no idea. Yeah, well, there'll be plenty of them. But they love this flocks on the ground. This is some of Nikki's favorite little ground cover. She, when we first came here, there's none of this here. There's all this kind of big, messy mess of road. Oh, it's very. Check that out. We don't get them in the UK. Really? No. Nah. So there'll be there'll be hundreds off around before long. That's the first one I've seen this year. Seems a little early for them. Sun's out there, and a nice you know the last few days have been quite nice weather, isn't it? So I guess yeah. they're yeah, maybe so. they'll come out. The uh, the uh, flowers and all. Yeah. None of that was there. All that was there were the, were the rose bushes, which I trimmed the back. But those rose bushes, even though they're you know, a couple feet high now, will be six feet high by the end of summer. There's another butterfly then. What's that? A black butterfly just went through then. Oh, I did it. Yeah. Dude, it's crazy. We got here. Okay, 
maybe maybe later on one or one of these days we just kind of hang out in the backyard and we watch the butterflies and instead of our photography zoom, and stuff this these are just various little apple trees i put and the thing i didn't know is that's west i had no idea when i planted these trees how hard the wind would blow so almost every apple tree here leans this way uh. and it's because i should have i should have pegged them up to give them some support but the, almost all the apple trees are leaning uh, west to east. Some nice houses up the top there as well. Look at that. Yeah, well, let, let, let's ride, let's ride yeah. up there. It only takes three minutes. I usually walk, uh, when, I, when, I, when I'm feeling good and wanting to get exercise, I'll walk from here. And I go all the way up to the very top of that and go around it. It's like a little knob up there. I come around and come right back. So there's no outlet from that. Yeah, it's the end of the road up there. But it's a good climb. So you go from, I think we're about 1,600 feet here to about 1,900. And another branch hanging off it. Yeah. <laughs> It needs to come down, doesn't it? Yeah. I'll throw it on the, the pile. These trees are interesting as well. I've seen these on your videos before. These are called river birch. Yeah. And so they, usually people, they're, they're decorative. And they're, they're kind of a little bit rare unless you're just down in watery areas. Yeah, but usually if you have a uh, a yard that has water problems, you can put these in and it kind of soaks up a lot of the moisture out of your yard. I don't think that was the case here. I think the previous owners just liked the looks of them. These are these little peach trees down here with the pink on it. It looks like, when I might have pieces this year, we have to hold the snap, but it looks like the blossoms are still alive. So I think I might have peaches yeah. this year. First year ever, I might have peaches. Uh, the first year I was here, a guy way up on that knob up there had the awesome little peaches. They're about this big, but there's the tree is full of them, so that gave me the idea that I should try to do it. These are two pairs here. The, the first year, this tree just went, got some kind of crazy block. I told Nikki I'm gonna cut that down. I said, oh, that, that tree's dead. She said, no, 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 let, let me let me work with it. She came out, she she did some study and she actually trimmed all the bad off of it. And she used some kind of solution she made that she read about on the internet and she's nursed it back to life. It's gonna live. Mm -hmm. So this is a pear tree that I, I had given up on. And the pears, pears are tough to grow, they say because they, they did get blights, but that one's really flourishing yeah. here. Yeah, the uh, the neighbor over here. This is Mr. E. Went Bogdan E. It's a beautiful house, isn't it? Yeah, it's a great house. It's beautiful inside, and he has his uh, vineyard down here. Doesn't have the views that you. <laughs> no, well, yeah, <laughs> he he does. I tell you what, he does. Yeah, look, oh, that's seven the South mountains, mountains. South over mountains. Here. Yeah. So what the South Mountains are, if you go there, they're they're a smaller range. About I think about the highest ones maybe 3,200 feet. So they're not real high mountains, but they're very dramatic when you get in them. That they kind of just they, they set off a little bit from the Appalachians. They're probably 30 miles from any real mountains. But that, and I don't know how they were formed, but it, it's, it's a state park and it's the largest state park in North Carolina. So it's, it's, it's a huge state park. You can go in there and you can get turned around and lost. I almost did one time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, one of those hikes I do when I'm straight up new, you can't tell which way, which, you know, I didn't have a problem with you or anything. So that's it, man. It's a little, Tour of the estate. <laughs> it's great to see it in real life rather than on a on a screen. It's amazing. So we're going to enjoy it for the next two weeks. Driving around in the hire car. Hey, you want me to get my glasses on? You want to go for a ride? You got your key? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let me.